I've had people ask me, well, how was it over there? And I know that the curiosity is there, but it's not something myself or a lot of the other soldiers are able to discuss. That's why I think that there's so many problems when we come home and our families don't understand what's happened with us. They want the old person back and the person's gone. The Horses for Heroes Cowboy Up program in Santa Fe County here, we bring combat wounded warriors and PTSD veterans and work with them here on our ranch. One of the curious things about working with horses and the veterans working with horses is that horses are a mirror. So when the veterans come out, if they're uptight, the horse is uptight. They, there's an empathy there that the horse and the veterans start sharing with one another trying to establish a partnership. They want to come to an agreement. Almost every veteran that is coming through our program now, um, there's combat wounds, physical wounds, but there's the, the unseen wound, and that's that post-traumatic stress. We call it combat trauma now, and the warriors have to learn how to deal with that. Because I, I know I took, when I took mine to Texas, mm -hmm. I was getting about 310 to a tank of 35 gallons. When we come home, and our families don't understand what's happened with us. They want the old person back and the person's gone. And I understand wanting uh, my daughter or my son I, back that before he left here, he was a totally different person. Well, yes, he's gonna be totally different now because before he left here, he didn't see dead babies in the road or people uh, wrapped around tires dead from a bomb or something, you know. Uh, he didn't get blown up with an IED, you know. Uh, so it's different when you see all this stuff. I had a veteran call in and he said to me, he said, you know, then you gave us something nobody else can give us. And I said, well, what's that? And he said, you gave us hope. One of the things that happens to the magic with the horse and it takes the warrior to a, a quiet place inside of himself. And quiet isn't defined as a lack of sound, but an awakening to a rhythm that's based in the natural world. <laughs> 